Hey y'all, so we are back with part two of my huge fragrance collection. If you have not checked out part one already, please go ahead and check that out. I will link it either on this side or this side. I never remember where it is, but I'll also have the link for it down below in the description box. So check that out. If you did not see part one, basically all I'm doing is going through every single fragrance in my collection, give you guys a brief description. I have I can't remember the exact number, but I know it's over 250 bottles of fragrance, so these will not be reviews. They will just be quick descriptions of each fragrance in my collection so you can see all that I have going into 2022. Really quick before we get into the fragrances, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that now. Also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love collection videos. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the fragrances. All right, so we are on the letter K and the first K brand that I have is none other than K Ali. So this first one is Invite Only. This one was, re was released this year. This is a sweet but dark boozy apple amber scent. Now it seems that everybody seems to smell something a little bit different in this fragrance, but I will say for me, it is like a dark oody apple uh, boozy scent. Next, I have Vanilla 28. This one was my first one from the line and it's a dark brown sugar vanilla. Next, we have Elixir 11, which is an apple scent, but it's also kind of deep, dark and sexy. I always find this one kind of hard to describe because it's quite unique um, and it's gorgeous. Next up is Deja Vu. This one is a white floral scent that is sweetened up with some vanilla. Next up is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. This one is a vanilla and coconut scent that has a lot of like tropical white flowers in there and perfect for summertime, beachy weather. Next up is Musk 12. This is one of my favorites. It's just a creamy, very clean musk, but it also has some fruity nuances to it, even though they do not list any fruits in the description of this fragrance. And then the last one I have from the brand is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. This one is my favorite from the line. This is like a spicy rose oud scent. There is no oud listed in the notes, but that's the kind of vibe I get, like a more feminine oud satin mood, if you're familiar with that fragrance from MFK. Also, I forgot to mention before I started talking about this brand that I have a whole brand review on Kaoli, so I will try to remember to link that for you guys. I also have a whole brand review on the next brand, which is Killian. So I will link that for you guys, but if I forget to link stuff, just know there's a ton of fragrances here, so you can always search YouTube. You can say, you can put in Simply Aisha and then put the name of the fragrance you're looking for or the brand name of any of the fragrances I'm talking about. And if I have a review, you should be able to find it like that. So <laughs> this next one is Killian Apple Brandy. This is the original apple brandy and it smells like straight liquor. Apple brandy. <laughs> next up is Intoxicated and this is a coffee and cardamom scent. Very dark, very deep quite unisex maybe even leaning a bit masculine but it's beautiful for cold weather next is love don't be shy and this is my first killian fragrance and i still really really love it one of my top 10 scents of all time for now anyway <laughs> this is a beautiful marshmallow orange blossom scent quite potent quite polarizing but i love it next up is love don't be shy extreme and this is very similar to love don't be shy except it has an added rose note and it's lighter to me so this one is more appropriate for warmer weather next up is back to black this is a honey and tobacco scent that is a little bit powdery and quite deep next up is apple brandy on the rocks this one is a fresh sparkling boozy scent um, and you can definitely smell the apple in there but it's quite um, uplifted it's an uplifted boozy scent next is lure vert this one does not get a lot of love here on youtube but i happen to love it it is a licorice based scent that is very warm very cozy very enveloping next up is roses on ice and this is actually my least favorite from the liquors collection um, but this one smells like cucumber and gin initially and it has some floral nuances to it as well as i wear this the cucumber does die down in my opinion but those floral and gin nuances stay next up is angel share and this is a boozy apple cinnamon rum type fragrance that is just absolutely delicious smelling 
Next up is I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess. Stupid name, but I love the fragrance. This is another marshmallow scent, but it's mixed with, I believe, green tea or matcha tea. And that gives it this herbal kind of aromatic feel, keeps it from being too girlish in my opinion. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear my lawn people. They just started, but I want to continue filming this video. So hopefully you can't hear it. If you do, I'm sorry. The next brand I have is Kais, and this is an indie brand. The first one I have is Cacao Noisette, and this one smells exactly like Nutella. If you think Angel Muse smells like Nutella, you need to smell this, because this smells exactly, very literally, like Nutella. The other one I have from them is Dorsura Brulee, and this smells exactly like Creme Brulee. <laughs> These scents are very literal. The next brand I have is Lalique, and this one is Lalique Le Parfum. It is a beautiful tonka scent, but it also has some herbal touches in there. I believe bay leaf is in this, which makes it smell quite different. Um, I really like this scent, even though I don't wear it very much. I do really like it. It's quite interesting. The next brand I have is La Maison de la Vanille, and this is Vanille Fleury de Tahiti. This is a very sweet, very kind of heavy vanilla but it is lightened up with like tropical florals. Um, so it's kind of like a dense scent, but it smells kind of tropical as well, which I think is a really unique kind of touch. Next brand I have is Lardis and Parfumer, and the first one I have in the brand is Banana Banana. This one smells like a musky banana floral scent, and it ha also has some amber in it. It is so delicious smelling, but not in a way that I want to eat it but the banana in this smells really yummy, even though I don't even like banana, guys. <laughs> Next from the brand is Noir Exquise, and this is a lighter fall type scent. It has chestnut, it kind of smells a bit smoky. It gets compared often to By the Fireplace from Mason Margiela, but this is a much lighter, different version, but I can definitely see some of the similarities between the two. Next brand I have is Latafa, and this first one is Oud for Glory. This is a dupe for Oud for Greatness from Initio, so it smells quite similar. The next one I have is Amethyst, and I believe this is a dupe for another Initio fragrance, but I'm not sure which one. This one smells kind of leathery. It definitely has a saffron there. It's a little sweet and a little spicy, um, and then I also believe it has some rose in there as well. The next one I have from Latafa is Ragba, and this is a vanilla that is deep and spicy and a little bit smoky and resinous. The next brand I have is Laura Mercier, and the first one I have is Ombre Vanille. This one smells like a kind of nutty vanilla. It's pretty light wearing. This is typically one I only wear to bed. The other one I have from the brand is Verbena Infusion, and this one smells very sparkling and fresh. It is a lime-based fragrance. The next brand I have is Layered, and I believe they go by B Layer. I really don't know. I believe this one was sent to me a while ago. This is the only one I still have from the brand, um, but this is Geneva Chocolate, and I kept this fragrance even though I don't really get down with the brand anymore because I really like it. It's just like a plain chocolate scent, so I feel like it would be good for layering even though I have not used it in quite a while. The next brand I have is Louis Vuitton. I only have one from that brand, and this is Contra Moi. This is a vanilla scent that is very green and aromatic and also has orange blossom in there, but it's not really a sweet vanilla scent. So this is definitely not for everybody because it is quite herbal, but I happen to love it. The next brand I have is Lolita Limpica, and this one is called Green Lover. This one smells like gin and vanilla <laughs> sounds kind of weird the gin comes on really kind of strong initially but as you wear it, the vanilla comes out more and then you also have that greenness as well to the fragrance the next brand i have is maison francis kirkjean and the first one i have from the brand is baccarat rouge 540 x straight de parfum this one has that saffron bitter almond. It's quite sweet, but it's also quite just different. I mean, I know people don't consider it different now because there's so many like copycat fragrances out there, but when it came out, it's very different. And the extract to me, just I feel like I can smell it more on myself, and the almond is definitely more present in this fragrance. I also have the original Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum, and this is that 
cotton candy kind of burnt sugar type smell the saffron is spicy and this is that light airy scent that everybody knows and seems to love or hate <laughs> next one i have is gentle fluidity gold this one is a rose and vanilla scent but to me the vanilla is more prominent it does also have some herbal or aromatic touches to it i believe from the juniper berries that gives it something different than just rose and vanilla very beautiful the last one I have from the brand is Grand Suave. This is my favorite from the brand. This is a beautiful amber scent that also has vanilla. It's a little sweet, but not too much. It's more so spicy and very enveloping. Just makes me feel very cozy when I wear this. The next brand I have is Maison Margiela, and all of the ones I own are from the Replica Collection. So this first one is Lipstick On. This one has been discontinued, but I love it. I actually have a backup bottle of this. This is a sweet, waxy, lipsticky type scent. It also has Tonka and it's a little bit powdery and just really kind of vintage smelling, but in a modern way. Next up is By the Fireplace and this one smells like the Marshmallow Fireside Candle from Bath & Body Works, but in a perfume version. So it is sweet, it's smoky, it's woody, and it smells like you're sitting by the fireplace. The next one I have is Jazz Club and this is in a different bottle because I actually broke my Jazz Club bottle but I was able to salvage most of my fragrance and so I, I ordered a bottle from um, Amazon and just put it in there and I just stuck the label on there so I know what it is. <laughs> but anyway, this is a spicy, a little bit sweet scent. Not really sweet though, just... Uh, it's just slightly sweet, kind of that boozy sweetness. Um, I definitely think this one is quite unisex and may slightly lean masculine. I've noticed that lately when I smell it, it doesn't smell as masculine as it did initially when I got it. Because when I first got it, I kind of couldn't wear it. Next from the brand is Whispers in the Library. And this is one of my go-to nighttime scents. It smells kind of like, I think it says paper and wax wood. Yeah, that's what it says here on the description. And that's what it smells like, like you're sitting in a library, but in a perfume way. Next one is Beach Walk. This is my first one from the brand. This one is a beach scent that smells like coconut and skin. And it's a little bit salty as well. It's very beautiful. It is light wearing, but I happen to still really love this fragrance. Next one is Matcha Meditation. And this one smells like green tea mixed with white chocolate with a little bit of florals in it as well. Quite delicious smelling. And the last from the brand is Bubble Bath. I have this little tiny, cute little bottle. And this smells like you just bathed with coconut bath soap. <laughs> it's actually... Uh, it's actually quite interesting. It smells very clean, but I have noticed that if I overspray this, I don't enjoy it as much as if I just spray it minimally or not minimally, but like normally. Because um, if I overspray it, I feel like it almost leans a tad bit masculine, which I don't know why, but it kind of does. Next brand I have is Mancera, and the first one from Mancera is Instant Crush. This one is a love for me. It has a sweet, spicy saffron to it. Um, this is a deeper, darker scent than Baccarat Rouge. Definitely more of a full scent. Although it does get compared to Baccarat Rouge a lot. I don't think they are dupes, but I definitely do think they're in the same family. And I absolutely love this one. Next up is Wild Cherry. And this one smells like a fizzy cherry kind of soda drink or... <laughs> perfume um without going too much that dr pepper route this kind of keeps it more on just cherry fizziness next up is red tobacco and this one is a very deep dark woody tobacco scent uh, almost smells like there could be oud in here even though i don't believe oud is a note this one is very deep and dark next up is holidays and this one is a very thick dense coconut scent that also has i believe tiare flower in there and maybe uh, some other tropical flowers but it, this is definitely a sunscreen type scent next up is choco violet and this one smells like a chocolate fragrance that has some violet notes to it it also smells just slightly like dusty like cocoa powder or something uh, but it's very well done next up is velvet vanilla and this one is a bubblegum tuberose scent quite sweet quite thick but because of that floral nature to it, I feel like I can wear this in the spring. Maybe not the summer because it's a little bit too heavy. But definitely I can wear this spring and all the other seasons. Next brand I have is Marc Jacobs. And this first one is Decadence. This to me is hard to explain. But it's very deep, dark. Smells like plum. And 
I don't know, there's definitely some like herbal touches to it. I love this fragrance though. It's, it's a very unique fragrance, even though it's been out for a while. Next up is Divine Decadence. And this one smells like a lighter, more daytime appropriate version of Decadence. It also kind of smells like champagne, it smells very sparkling. Um, so imagine like a lighter Decadence, but add some champagne and make it very like light, almost like a drink. The next one I have is Daisy and this was my wedding scent. I no longer wear this. I have been through multiple bottles of this, but I keep it just for sentimental purposes. Everybody knows what Daisy smells like. The next one I have is Honey. And again, I have not worn this in ages, but I can't get rid of it. It is a sweet honey, waxy kind of scent. It smells actually quite good. Um, it's, it's really well done. Unfortunately, it is discontinued, but if it weren't for the bottle, I probably would have this with like my regular collection and then I would use it more. But because of the bottle, it just doesn't fit anywhere. The next brand I have is Maleg Perfumes and this is Golden Guy. This one was actually sent to me, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It has tobacco in it and it has some boozy notes in it, but it's not a heavy scent. There's something very sparkling in nature. The first time I smelled this, I was just like blown away by how it smells. Couldn't really put my finger on the notes. Um, but it's quite beautiful. It also has some musk in there as well. So yeah The next brand I have is Michael Kors and this one is Twilight Shimmer. This one is kind of a Plummy vanilla. I'm not sure if plum is a note in this, but that's what it smells like to me like a plummy vanilla That's a little bit spicy. It's kind of deep and dark, but it's not super heavy The next brand I have is Mossy and this was sent to me. It's called into me This is a sparkling fruity fragrance perfect for summer I can't remember the notes right off hand, but I believe there is mango in this, but there's also like almond in this as well. So it's very pretty. This is definitely perfect for spring, summer. The next brand I have is Molinar and I only have one from the brand. This is Vanille Fruité. This is a vanilla scent that is fruity, but it's also kind of thick and heavy. It kind of smells tropical. When I first got it, I wore it quite a bit. You can see like how much I've used. Um, but I haven't worn this in a while, so I will be planning to pull this back out this spring, this upcoming spring and summer. The next brand I have is Montel, and the first one that I have is Mango Mucha. This, is, oh no, it's Mango Manga. What am I talking about? <laughs> this one is a mango scent, but it is musky. It kind of smells a little bit sour when you first spray it, but as it dries down on the skin, it's very beautiful. And when I say dry down, I mean like with it after like the first. 10 seconds of spraying it. Um, it dries down into like a musky mango scent. Um, it's really pretty. Next one I have is Sweet Oriental Dream and this is my Sexy Baby Powder scent. Smells like almond, honey, and like powderiness. The next one I have is Honey Oud and this one is a honey scent that is very deep, very dark. You can smell the oud. It also has something in it that smells a bit like hay, um, which sounds weird, but it actually comes together all very well. The last one I have from Montel is Mokola, and this one smells like strawberry air freshener, but as you wear it, it becomes more wearable, becomes more of a musky strawberry scent. Next brand I have is Mont Blanc, and I just have one from the brand. This is Mont Blanc Signature. This is kind of a creamy orange or tangerine smelling scent that's also quite musky, um, very refreshing, but also kind of very clean and also a little bit sweet. The next brand I have is Mugler, and the first one that I have is Angel Eau de Parfum. This one is a patchouli heavy scent that also has like chocolatey notes to it. I mean, I feel like everybody knows what Angel smells like. I do have a refill of this, so I actually need to go ahead and refill it. The next one I have is Angel Eau Crocier. This is the 2019 version. This one smells like mango. It's, it also smells like grapefruit, so to me it's kind of like a mango grapefruit zingy zesty but also a little bit sweet fragrance next one i have is angel Eau crocier the 2020 version this one is based off fig um to me neither one of these smell like the original angel they're like their own scents um, but this one smells more like fig and coconut it's a little bit green as well um this one is definitely grown on me when i first got it i really wasn't a huge fan of it and the last one I have from the brand is Angel Muse. This one smells like the original Angel, but add more chocolate nuances to it, more of a hazelnut nuance to it as well. And it's not as heavy on the patchouli as the original Angel. 
Next brand I have is Navitas, and this first one is Soir Exclusive. This one was from the Big Beard Business Collaboration. It is a spicy but kind of smooth and close to you scent so i believe marshmallow is in here almond i believe there's coffee in here as well it's kind of like a mishmash of a lot of things but it really comes together so it's a little spicy a little, a little sweet but just very smooth and kind of addictive smelling great for like date nights in next one i have is edola and this one smells like a rose scent that is a bit transparent. Kind of reminds me of Delina La Rose, if you guys have smelled that before. Um, that's why I actually ended up getting rid of that fragrance and I kept this one. <laughs> um, but I think they are quite similar. It's not a vintage rose. This one is more of a modern rose, sparkling kind of watery type scent. Next one I have is Exalt Nui, and this is a deep, dark, like coffee, tobacco type scent. This one I can only wear in the cold weather, and I do think that it leans a bit more masculine, but I do wear this myself as well. And the last one I have in the brand is Absolutio. Now, I'm pretty sure the bottles have changed on this, but um, this is the bottle I have. And this one kind of smells to me like Baccarat Rouge, but add in some cinnamon and some booziness, and it's a little bit it's a lot thicker than Baccarat Rouge. So I feel like that's the best way for me to describe it. It does have that saffron. I believe saffron is a no anyway, but I just feel like that's the easiest way for me to describe it because everybody knows what Baccarat smells like. <laughs> the next brand I have is Narciso Rodriguez. I only have one from the brand, but this is Poudre. This is a powdery, musky scent, very enveloping, quite cozy, but not wear this in hot weather though. I feel like it would be kind of suffocating because of the powderiness. Next brand I have is Nikolai. I only have one from the brand. This is Vinny Tonka. And I really wish I would have purchased this in a large bottle. I love the smell of this, but I don't wear it much because I don't want to use it up. That, I know that's stupid, but <laughs> because the bottle is so small, I feel like I have ran through it. Anyway, this is a 1ml bottle, I believe. No, not 1ml. 1 ounce bottle. 30ml bottle. But this is a kind of spicy... Um, I know it has vanilla and tonka in the name, but to me, I smell more of a spicy vanilla. The tonka is there, but I feel like it kind of just helps surround the fragrance out. And it just smells very well blended and expensive. Now that I'm doing this video, I feel like I want to sell this bottle and get the big one. <laughs> Y'all let me know if you have this fragrance. Next brand I have is Nishane, and first up is Fan Your Flames. Now this one I was all over when I first got it, but I haven't reached for it lately, so I'm gonna wear it this week. This is a coconutty, boozy scent that also has tobacco in there. So like, I think the main notes are rum, tobacco, and coconut, which to me is just an awesome combination, all things I love. I actually can wear this in all seasons. So in the winter or fall, winter, I can wear this during the day. And then in the summer, I can wear this at night, which I actually took this on my one and only trip and wore it at night on that trip during the late spring. Next up is 100 Solid Ways, and this one is a beautiful vanilla floral that has some that smells kind of similar to YSL Black Opium, but in my opinion, this one is more elevated, better, <laughs> more unique smelling. Even though I love Black Opium, I wore that for years, but this to me is like my grown up version of Black Opium. And then the last one I have in the brand is Ani. Y'all know this is one of my top 10 scents. It is a citrusy vanilla. Um, I believe the citrus in this is bergamot or either lime, um, but it just really helps to make this a year round fragrance for me. And the vanilla in this is just so enveloping. There's just, there. this is one that you really just have to smell because when I describe it as a citrus vanilla, that does not do it any justice. This is the one you have to smell. So I feel like this is a good spot to go ahead and end this video. There will be a part three that will be the final part of my collection. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Turn your notification bells on if you have not already. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in my next one.